Picked up, bruised, and stitched. A carjacking victim is telling his story, and he thinks it's the perfect example of why crime in St. Louis needs to be better addressed. St. Louis committee person Joe Palm was one, one of four people carjacked in a short time span on Monday. He's talking only to News 4's Vinton Blandon. Right now, Courtney, Joe Palm is working with police to get his truck they recovered in the Metro East. On Monday, his position did not matter. Today, he is now representing a crime statistic. I thought I was going to die. Uh, I thought I was going to die here. My brother was murdered two years ago. Joe Palm's fears exploded as he was carjacked Monday near Union and Maple in the city's West End neighborhood. Guy had a gun pointed at me. And while he had the gun pointed at my face, he was real close. The other guy took the pistol and started pistol whipping me. The longtime St. Louis committee person has stitches to prove it. First they said, give me all your effing keys. Then they said, give me, give me those phones. You're not going to call anybody. He was hurt and bloodied. A neighbor alert enough to answer a frantic knock on the door helped. I had my shirt on and it was soaked with blood. So she was holding a bloody shirt and, you know, my pants were bloody, my underwear, my socks. It was bloody everywhere and she put pressure on my head. She probably saved my life. He's grateful but feels another pain caused by a city he's loved for so long. I've tried to help this community my whole life. Uh, I've lived in that neighborhood my whole life. And man, something's got to be done. This is my third time having an interaction with a gun in the city. Joe Palm told me he was once approached by someone with a gun while he was with his staff. He says he has faith and believes in the city's officers, but he also knows that police are catching the bad people. He just thinks there's a need for prosecutors to do a whole lot more. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Vincent Blandon, News 4.